Welcome back guys, watching Rivals of this is the Football Manager 2019 Let's Play series. So we're still Barcelona obviously, and today we've got a game against Sevilla, yep Sevilla. And we're away from home, let's have a quick look at the table, see where they're actually sitting, because I've not actually checked yet. I imagine it's going to be a difficult game, yeah the fourth. Uh, but should we have a look at like what their home form is, because that might give us a good indicator if we will struggle. So the home form, Sevilla, right, so the one four, <laughs> drawn one, so right, so he's, he's pretty decent to be fair. Although they've not really been tested yet, have they? Our away record, not the greatest. 1 2 drawn, 2 lost, 1. So this looks like we may struggle a little bit. Although we have been finding our feet, you know, not, let's not lie about that one. Uh, is there any sort of news to sort of report on? Yeah, there is. Dumbele, the guy that we were trying to get rid of, has got the player of the month for the Liga. I think it's three games, two goals, something like that. Like, well, something along those lines, I can't remember. Uh, we've also got an increase to our transfer kitty. £68 million, guys. I've been looking, trying to find players. I've put a few transfers transfers in. Pulisic, Salah and Thorvin. Now, Salah's my first choice, then Thorvin and then Pulisic, to be honest. I'm, I think I just want to spend money more than anything. I just don't think we need to really improve anywhere else. We're still looking at sort of like positions. We've got plenty of cover in midfield. We've got Roberto, Herrera, Vidal, Rakitic, Arthur, uh, Messi. We probably may look for... That might be one to look for, an attacking midfield. The thing is, if we go for someone in that position, it's not going to be Mark Easy because it need to it need to be sat there and it's not going to take Messi's place, let's be honest. Let's put Messi back out right and went for someone like Dybala. I might do that, actually. That might be a good choice. Um, I mean, we've got that... Budu, aren't we, on left-hand side, that youngster. I need to bring him back into the squad once he gets his match fitness up. And apart from that, maybe you know, a backup strike. Can, although that Badu were brought in for that purpose as well. And we've got Manoa, Munia, Munia, Munia. I don't know. I've got that guy. We've got him as well as backup. So I think, we, I think we're quite set in a lot of positions. We need probably need another centre-back just for cover. Although we, didn't, we don't play Vermeulen, so it's not like we really need him right now. So, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of areas to strengthen unless we get like a super... A super player, and uh, imagine if you get Coutinho, Messi, and Salah. So that uh, front three be all right, wouldn't you? You know, playing behind Suarez, so middle three really. So I, I want Salah and Thorvin plays there as well, and so does Pulisic. So it, it, it's that sort of position we're looking at. Unfortunately, Dembele, although you're playing well, I mean, I don't, maybe I should just give him more of a, more of a try. And it's a winger. I was looking for a winger, but they're all seem to be inside forwards. Let's work for a winger on left. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's one for another episode. Don't thinking it more than anything. So I say we've got Sevilla today, and this is the team we're going with. There's not, there's no games to recap on because it's literally just following on from uh, the disappointed Champions League um, <clears throat> defeat to Moscow. I'll, I hope we don't get two defeats in a row. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? So we're going with Testing in that. You know what? Umtiti probably can come in and take his place again, can't he? I'm going to do that. <clears throat> yeah, Umtiti. What's going on here? I'm sure he were a ball playing defender. Is it? It's on cover. That's definitely changed. 100% that's definitely changed. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't like going cover unless I've got a stopper, but we'll just go with that anyway. So we've got on Titi PK centre back partnership. Great time to start this, isn't it? Just to experiment with it. Away to Sevilla. Uh, Albert on left, Samido on right, Roberto Rakitic through centre, Rafinha up top, who's replacing Messi because he's a little bit injured. He needs a little bit of a rest, so I've not spoken to him. I've not agreed that I will do, but I'm just going to do it, to be honest, because I don't want to get him injured. We've had injuries with him a few times so far this season. Got Dembele on right, Coutinho on left, and Suarez on up top. So on Ben's got Nia, uh, Langley, Arthur, Miranda, Wagyu, Malcolm, and Vidal. I'm not sure why Malcolm cannot get his fitness up. It's it's got to happen at some point, Anton. I think he'll I think he'll be a decent player to be honest. It's a hot prospect, but I definitely think he'll uh, definitely be a decent player. I'm I'm going to bring him on at some point, probably for Dembele, because I, I think he's a real well-rounded player. But I think what we need to do, we need to crack on with, it, don't we? Get into get into this game. <clears throat> to be honest, I, I shouldn't say I'd take a draw, but I'm kind of going to say um, nothing from assistant manager whatsoever. He's let us down there, aren't he, a little bit? He's supposed to have good uh, motivational skills, I believe. It's one of the reasons why I look for him. I look for I look for assistant manager that's got good motivational skills and uh, man management. Oh, oh, that's their player. I don't care. Um, reason for that is so they can take team talks, they can motivate them, and manage uh, manage them well in terms of sort of like I suppose. Uh, handling talks and stuff like that. Wow, this is a dangerous position to have a highlight, isn't it? When we're so far back, we are defenders on the ball. Dumbele's done a 360 degree turn. It's hoofed up there to Suarez, headed away though. Rakitic finds the ball. So plenty of overloading on right hand side. Ooh, Coutinho's had a strike. It's not too bad. Not bad effort, really, to be honest. But keep us 
fairly easily put it out, out to air. Now they're on the attack, and Andre Silva, I mean, he got around our defence a little bit too easily, didn't he? Now, they've had six shots to our two, so it looks like we are struggling. I'm going to demand more. Demand more. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Three shots now, so <laughs> coming back to a little bit. On the bright side, they've only had two shots on target, so they're exactly the same as us. Rafinha's got a bit of an injury. Jesus, is it that position or something? Suarez is, well, trying to come back, but just left it. Half-hearted attempt at getting ball back. Now, they're playing ball about. They're holding on to it. They're not doing anything drastic. Oh, there they go. Yep, <laughs> they do. Although, they managed to come away with it somehow. On the left-hand side, in space. Great tackle by Semedo. Could have been a penalty if uh, ref wanted to. Uh, Suarez, who... Ooh, he's, he's looking for a run there, wasn't he? Uh, I think it must be Rafinha. Coutinho finds himself on ball. He's played it outright. It looks like we just hit him, hit and hope here, doesn't it? Maybe I changed the... Oh, God, PK's been done there, hasn't he? I mean, we've got the cover tactic there on... Uh, well, roll instruction there, haven't we, on Titi, but he didn't seem to cover anyone whatsoever. He should have been playing off of PK's shoulders, shouldn't he, really? If he's on cover. We're just inviting pressure, aren't we, more than anything? It's a great tackle again. Rafinha, isn't there? there you go. We're going to have to take him off at some point, aren't we? I don't really know how, who else to put on there. Oh, God, don't tell me it's going to be a penalty. Wow, he's... Snatched at that one, hasn't he? He's going to VAR. So, I bet you it's a penalty. I bet you it's a penalty. It seems a bit stupid, considering... I don't understand why it would be a penalty. Why would we commit a foul there? I mean, it would know any anyone's head. It would, it would miles over the top, wouldn't it? To review against Coutinho. Right, okay. Does that mean it's a penalty? It's a penalty. Oh, Christ. I, I, right, Coutinho's really pissed, pissed me off there. Oh, it's put it wide. Jesus. Yeah, there's no need to foul him. I mean, what's he going to do? Jump like 12 feet into air. Rafinha, back post on Titi. We'll put it straight back in, but keep there. Just pick it off. Pretty half time. It's nil nil. So, I mean, that draw's looking likely at this stage, isn't it? There's nothing overly threatening happening apart from that one attack by them where uh, Silva ran through, where it was bad covering by him, Titi. I don't know how else to play it, to be honest. I mean, Lengle maybe is better sort of position there, to be honest. I might bring him on and get rid of that cover. I mean, look at that. He's, cut. He's poorly covering, isn't it? I am. I'm going to change it, you know. I'm going to change it. I'm not happy with that. That cover is just not working for me. Lengle is going to take that place, and he's going to be a defender. Man, he's not very happy with it either, is he? It's definitely changed, hasn't it, that? I'm not imagining things, am I? I'm pretty sure they were both... Um, Full on defensive ball playing defenders. Mikado's on 63%, so he looks like he might be a little bit knackered. Right, let's lay into him. There you go. That's that's how you do it, assistant manager. You know, that's how you get a bit of a, a response from them. Hopefully, we can get something positive now. I may, oh, I mean, can I bring. I'm just going to quit a look at Rakitic. Can I play him through as an attacking midfielder? We can do. We're going to do that, you know. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Arthur on. Where is he? He's come off for Rafina and he's going to swap with him. So he's in his natural position. It's going to be an advanced playmaker. I guess he's probably better on... I'm going to go with support, actually. Cause then he, the difference between support and attack. Attack is more likely to run with the ball, aren't they? But I'm not sure what his dribbling skills are. If it lets me have a look. There we go. 14, so it's not really what you want, is it? Oh, it's just over that, innit? So I think it makes it better to have it on support. So he's like getting the ball and knocking it around. Suarez, Suarez looks nervous. I'm going to change him. It's not a great performance there, is it? We'll give it this uh, this ladder run. See what he can do. See if he can make any sort of impact. Suarez, Suarez I mean, Suarez, Suarez has been um, prolific anti so far to this game. Well, up to the last game. Rakitic. Oh, it's knocking about. Oh, it's a great save. Oh, it's knocked away. It's going to assess that there's two cases of VAR. VAR galore here, guys. I bet you this one isn't a penalty. I bet you. I bet you we don't get get the benefit. Sevilla will get the benefit both ways. The penalty and the overruling of a penalty. What's it going to be? I think that's a no, isn't it? Yeah. I told you. I told you it wouldn't be. So, we've not got the benefit whatsoever of it there, have we? Oh, actually, I want to put Mark on, didn't I? I keep looking over there. It's an old game for substitute thing. Right, Dembele is coming off, going for an inside forward here. Can he be attack? I like. I think we go for attack. Yeah. The thing is, he just doesn't have fitness, does he, Malcolm? Well, he's fit. He's just got no sharpness. 
There's a couple of minutes left. Defence needs to get this back. Piquet's got it. It's, oh, freaking hell, Malcolm's just run off and just left it on here. It's ball over top. Oh, God, look at back post. Watch for back post. I told you. I knew that was going to happen. I called it, didn't I? I knew exactly what was going to happen. It's the case of the old football manager. It's not left, has it? We're still, uh, still going to deal with it. So I want to take that one in it in 88th minute. Well, 89th minute, really, isn't it? Oh, shocking. I mean, you can't say they didn't deserve it. They had 21 shots. I mean, we're at 15. You'd expect us to get a goal out of it, wouldn't you? Maybe this is our last chance. Let's so just hoofed it. I mean, what is that? Why is he hoofing it? Oh, 2 0. No. Andre Silva's not very good at finishing ball off, is he? Okay, right. So maybe, I'm not going to lay into mid. Well, the rest of the team. Attack. There you go. Because it was piss poor. 15 shots, we should be scoring, shouldn't we? Without a doubt, there should be a goal in there. Graffina's injured, doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, they've got that. Does that take our finances down? Yes, it does. So have a quick look at um, my competitions. Let's have a quick look at... Well, we are second. We are going to drift further and further behind. Behind, aren't we? Hang on. We've got a bunch of water out there. Thinking, Jesus. We dropped a little bit there, haven't we? Ah, what's going on? Stages. I don't know, away record, that's why. So we are second, still. Yeah, there we go. Wow, eight points behind. That's not good, is it? At least we are two points clear around Madrid, so it could be worth... I mean, well... Yeah, they've just... They're both severe. I don't know, we just drawn one more than us. Fortunately, if we'd won that one, we would have been uh, five points behind them, wouldn't we? But... You know, the hand's been dealt now. This is where we are. Our form's not very good, though. So our last five games, we've won two, lost one, drawn two. And it, it we're drawn to Valencia, not that we're seventh. We're away from home. Getafe, 15th, terrible. <laughs> uh, who else we got? Then we lost to Sevilla, who are third, to be honest. So away from home. At least, if they are, I imagine nothing much is going to change in terms of the top of the table. Um, us, I've had to go Sevilla, Real Madrid, and Valencia will probably creep up a little bit, I imagine. So we've played Sevilla and Real Madrid, so I imagine one at top four at the end of the season. Away from home, we lost on both. Uh, 2 1 to Real Madrid, 1 0 to Sevilla. So it's not the worst, you know. At least we're creating chances, so hopefully we can score a few goals. But we're going to leave it here for today's episode, guys. So if you enjoyed it, smash that like button, show some support. And if it comes to questions you may have, drop them in the comment section. If you just want to say hi, that'd be fantastic. Say hi, I'll get back to you. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because there's regular content coming out. I mentioned it before. Um, Football Magic is one day on, one day off, so every other day. And hopefully I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.